This is a conversion of the motor from the last video and it's a winner for 24-7 running. I've done various tests on it, I've got the details over the table so we'll go over there now and I'll talk a bit more about it. So here we are with it on the table and you can see that every now and again the blue light will flash. I've got it running at a speed such as it will show that if it goes faster then the light isn't shown to flash. But uh, that's been a very important little part for tuning this circuit up. You can see perhaps on this left sheet of paper I've got things like uh, I've got the resistor that I'd used and one flash for seven seconds, one flash for eight seconds. If it got above about ten the motor would stop and that's why it's important to see that flash because that tells you when the coil itself is firing. So what we've got as the circuit are five pieces of uh, monocrystalline solar cell and they came from this bag here. I've had this for years. I got a couple of pounds in weight of smashed up pieces from a place for about five dollars each or something. It was really wacky good value. Well for things like this where I can make the pieces into such a little setup. Uh, 0.55 each that gives 2.75 volts. A 2.7 volt 10F super cap on the left with a diode going into it from the panel so that drops it back down again to the 2.7 volts at the very maximum those things would bring in. And I like these little panel pieces because here's one here say and I can shape them just by snapping. So if I do that, of course this is going to go wrong now but I do that and then I might want to go down there as well so there we go and we end up with say well a bit smaller than I'd want but a piece like that and that'll put out something like 30 milliamps or somewhere but I say five of those connect them all up and uh, you know such a bag of broken pieces reminds me of broken biscuits as a kid but uh, they do work very well for this kind of a project the circuit itself is the Smart Creations 2010 SS1CC and it's a really good circuit for this as well because it works like the solar dancing flower type of circuits from the dollar store but uh, this one you know has the ability of that LED as well which I found to be very useful Back to this chart thing on the left here, which was the early tests, and you can see Derek. What do you see? It was Bill Bailey who said that Lid Motor calls his, some of his creations by names, and of course you've got Maggie and you've got Phyllis, and there was others as well, Huey, Louie, and Dewey that were oscillators, and rather nice names for things. So I thought, well, Derek will do, and this is Derek. So what we've got here though are the first tests where I was finding out when the thing would uh, stop by. I was putting 5.7k on there, 10k, 15k. And that's from the supercap uh, to the circuit. And there is that situation that was mentioned the other day where the rotor goes faster in the day and slows down at night. And I thought, well, that's where we have to make sure there's not one flash every 10 seconds or longer. So I've done a whole thing here of one run, which was uh, yesterday. Uh, on the kitchen window which is west facing and I found out it only needs an hour and a half of direct sunlight or really good light to keep going for 24 hours. I was really pleased with that. Um, otherwise just decent enough lighting south facing window and the thing will carry on. So that's my details there. I was using about 25 to 30 millivolts per hour. Um, absolutely did surprise me and that's with a 10F super cap. So there we are, that's my runner. I'm very pleased indeed with this thing. Uh, it is the semi-levitated type, you can see a gap at the top. And if I move that very slightly, I'll just show, it will just simply stick to the top. So that's part of the whole balancing of these things, is to make sure that least friction is possible on the bottom, which is where these uh, mag the uh, little end on the pin goes. Uh, also the magnet strength as well, to control the amount of speed. So all of these are north facing, they're just the same direction of facing. But uh, we can start it up again and it'll run along. Okay, that's my, well, hopefully, year-long and beyond runner. And we'll see how it does. Okay, thanks for watching.